Like they say, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it, holding history to ransom in Nigeria. Over the week, I saw a clip of former Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo's review of Femi Adishino's book. Femi Adishino was the former special advisor on media publicity to President Buhari, former president. You know, the book is titled Working with Buhari. It attempted to rewrite history in beautiful lines, despite the ineptitude of that government. So I'm telling them, no matter the attempt at rewriting history, it is obvious, visible to the blind and audible to the deaf, that the administration of President Buhari took Nigerians 50 years backward. That is what we are suffering today. From the flowery speech of President Yomi Oshibanjo, sorry, Oshibade or Oshibanjo this time around, it was clear that President Buhari was an absentee president who just laughed away while Nigeria was burning. He watched and laughed at Nigeria, and he's himself inclusive, while his lieutenant, associate, and colleagues turned the national treasury into a private vault. Why the president could request from Femi Adishino at least give a big hug to a book writer during the book launch? Did he bother to find out if Nigerians even had smiles or hug on their faces? While is Femi Adishino not also requesting a big smile from the guests during his own book launch? I've been a big smile, I President Buhari given for that book launch. And I hope President Tinubu gave him a big smile, not be money. For eight years, these people unleashed on Nigerians utter despair, poverty, and dissolution. To the extent that even the CBN, the central bank, became a bazaar of forest for compensating cronies that even made the disastrous years of President Gulag Jonathan look like a saint. This, are, this is despite the administration claiming to be fighting corruption. How about the EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, violated court orders with impunity? while intimidating and harassing passive enemy, and yet look the other way at those who are in the party of the president looting the treasury. Even the chairman of the EFCC were accused of, of, of helping themselves to recover loot. The vice president, the same Oshibanjo, was turned to an errand boy who was deployed to share money to vulnerable market women anywhere there was staggered election. To date, we don't know how much them share eventually. And I know, I'm not even sure that there's a register of those that receive that money. And that's why better I do today, they continue in the sharing, and they share to themselves. How about the National Assembly? Just like the current one that owns the ideology to stand in on Tinubu's mandate and your mandate they stand. The National Assembly was torn into a lame duck where Buhari could do no wrong, as the eyes always have it in anything that concerns Buhari. Other Ahmed Lawa. President Buhari became so careless that he almost collapsed the party that borrowed him the vehicle he rode to Assault Rock. We are all here. We are witness to what happened in APC. At least I forget. Remember, Professor, don't be the first, first vice president to be kidnapped. Evidence of kidnapping. Taking charge of territories in Nigeria. Imagine a president telling his vice, I shouldn't be the first vice president to be kidnapped because he's going somewhere. So no matter how much they try to rewrite history in intellectual prose or flowery poetry, the pretense at laughter, the consistent stealing, Fueled by the scorching hunger of Nigerians, will always, always make us remember Femi Additional and the Buhari administration for the hunger they visited on us. The cautious killing, the headsmen, bandits, and the visible hunger, cash crush, and poverty, which has even tripled under this current APC administration. So we will never forget, no matter how much you try to write books. I will therefore advocate until the ordinary Nigerians, that's like I am doing now, start to document their own in history. Our leaders will continue to rewrite history to suit their narrative. And in years to come, no matter the atrocities of the administration, they will be painted as a victim of a decayed society. And narrative will be spinned to favor them to the detriment of our collective suffering. After all, some people are telling us today that Abacha, Abacha didn't steal. Is Abacha, Abacha is, is a good man. Good luck. Jonathan is a good man. I beg to maintain my sanity. Let me pause here. But don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms shown on your screen. Click on the like button and help us to share. But according to William Will Durant, in the lesson of history, it is not the race that makes the civilization. It is the civilization that makes the people create the culture. And the culture, in turn, creates the human type. So what human type or culture are you? See you next week.